Hello, Sagittarius. It is time for you. Ooh, excuse me. Your reading for November to September 1st of this current year. I hope y'all are doing well. Just so you know, I'm still doing personal readings. Just hit me up in my email below and we'll go from there. I usually charge like 10 to 15 because that's just how I am. Are you trying to work on something? Maybe yourself? Maybe something with friends? Maybe with the community? Maybe you're trying to set that something up with yourself? Full beans? Just whack myself in the head. But it didn't hurt, so no worries. I hope you all are doing fantastic. I hope some of you are enjoying the Scorpio season. We're about to go into your planetary adventure because Jupiter is entering Sagittarius again. I think it's like that for one or two years, but I'm not sure. Uh, I'm actually Sagittarius rising. And man, do I got a temper. <laughs> Speaking of temper, it seems like someone's losing their temper and losing patience. Because that is Sagittarius's card. Oh, crap, baskets. I totally forgot to write stuff down. Hold on a second. God damn it. I wanted to watch Libra as an order to remember theirs. Anyway. Yeah, someone's being a little bit impatient with their stuff. <clears throat> no, that's understandable. Like, it's hard to keep patience when you're expecting something. No whammies. Alright, let's do this bottom layout. Ooh, someone's hiding their true feelings. Well. I wish you would just go on as straight as I want you to. Cards, that'd be outstanding. Thanks. Ace of Pentacles reverse. Looks like that dragon's ready to devour whoever decides to take that offer. Okay. Ah. Okay. So, let's look at all of this here. Just one quick shuffle. Look, I know I'm shuffling like already, but this is like bridge and shit shuffle. There's the dis difference. Damn it. Okay. So we got the high priestess here where someone's hiding their true feelings about a situation, right? And what's going on with them, Sagittarius. And that could be you, indeed. That, and maybe that's why you're being a little bit temperamental. Could be a Leo or an Aries, but someone's being a little bit unfair, being a little bit uncouth. Not keeping her composure and letting things get to her a little bit. She might even be hiding secrets when it comes to possibly a page of cups and a heartbreaking situation that she's trying to recover from, right? Maybe she's trying to keep that under wraps. But it's definitely the secret that's just keeping underneath the surface. All these true feelings are definitely affecting her because she's reversed. She's not on her kindest streak, right? And now there's a new journey with somebody who wants to look for a reason to stay. Like someone's already got their bags packed, they're still looking for a reason to stay. But they're going on a new journey, a new beginning, regardless. Like, they want a love proposal, but they're not sticking around for it, I feel like. <coughs> oh my god, but this has been stuffy all day. Oh, okay. Anyway, with this four of wands reverse here, not everything in the home is like happy like you only see the parts of them that are on the outside on the inside the darkness that like everybody usually has in these cards except for this guy um is there a more emotional sides and what's behind closed doors and we really don't know what happens behind closed doors we only see this side of their masks right so 
Those could be heavy mass, but in reality, since that four of wands is reversed, it could be like not so happy. Like the masks don't actually fit the people. And that is the truth of the situation. <laughs> like that, wow, spot on. Okay, I got you. It's definitely an identifying trait in all this. And the same down here, it's going against somebody. Yes, they look like they are zoned out, but in reality, they are definitely, like, working creatively. They're trying to fill those cups up emotionally somehow. They feel empty. And they, I feel like they're trying to find an outlet for whatever will make this become this mask that they wear over. But fate is moving that ahead with that Sagittarian energy, the Wheel of Fortune. That's what's going against somebody right now, Sagittarius. And then we get the Hierophant over here. Where, like, there's some excommunication going on. Because the home is once again fucky. And there's deception here with the moon. Someone's definitely played along, but they don't see it. And they can't come to a decision about it. With the ending theme being the Four of Cups. Someone trying to resolve something. There's even a cup coming down here from the sky to help them try to pick. But now it's like, is this even the right decision when it comes to this really bad offer? Like, to the point where you don't want to take that offer? Because he's probably going to eat you. He's probably going to eat you once you take the offer. Just putting that out there. You know, it's just kind of like, uh-uh. You take this, you die, bitch. Like Carl. From Grand Theft Auto. Let's see what the three advice cards for the end. Oh. Got the Nine of Swords. Someone is definitely um, feeling a little bit trapped in their head about this situation. So we feel like they are having trouble sleeping at night and it's keeping them up. There might be a love situation going on here as well. A very deep connection, possibly. With the Two of Cups. Could be romantic, could be otherwise. It doesn't have to be romantic. And there's a burden being lifted in all of this with the Ten of Wands. That should come to an end at some point soon, right? Right. So that is yours, Sagittarius. Um, I feel like someone might be confused about what to do. Like, I feel like they just want to be accepted. But there's too much excommunication, and they just don't know how to go about fixing this kind of stuff. You know, like, they don't know how to fix whatever's happening. And, like, you know, no matter what's going on with this scenario right here, someone's really trying to have, like, there might be someone trying to just delve on their own in order to figure stuff out. Like, maybe time's going against you when it comes to what you could be creative with. I hate when people, like, send me crap, like, do you want to buy this? We have 10% off our merchandise on Instagram. It's like, no, I like looking at your stuff. It doesn't mean I want to buy it, you know? But yeah, like, I don't know. It just feels like someone's really struggling with either, like, sticking around, you know? They seem really like with either sticking around or taking off on their own. I think that's, like, the main crux in it all. I'll see you later, Sagittarius. Bye-bye.